Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I have five tips to get started in Adobe Photoshop. So these are five tips that I wish someone would have let me in on before I started working in Adobe Photoshop. So we're here in Adobe Photoshop CC and these are in no specific order. These are just five tips that I wish I would have known when I got started. Number one. The first tip that I'm gonna let you guys in on is this. If you have an object like I have here with this rounded rectangle, so I'm moving it around here. Uh, if you want to adjust the size or rotation, all you need to do, this works for an image, a shape, text, whatever it is, select that layer and then hit the command button on a Mac and the control button on a Windows and the T key on your keyboard and boom, you now have the option to come in here and transform that object. Uh, give you a, another bonus bonus tip here. If you hold down the shift key and then start dragging out, it will drag it out perfectly even and it will not allow the shape to get disproportionate. So if you see here, if I do not hold the shift key and drag out, it may get kind of disproportionate and this works better for images obviously, but if I do hold down that shift key, then click and drag, it's always going to be proportionate. That is tip number one. Tip number two. The second tip that I'm going to tell you guys about is this one. If I have an object, we'll use the same yellow rectangle or square here, and I hold the shift key down as I'm moving it around, it will stay on an even plane. So let's say you want to line something up with another object within Photoshop. Even if I try to go hold shift and try to go up and down or whatever it may be, it's going to stay on that exact plane plane that I want it to stay on. So what I'm doing now is I'm holding shift as I'm dragging and it allows me to go ahead and do it that way. So hold down shift and drag an object and it doesn't matter where you are on the canvas, it will stay aligned with that line or path that you began on. So that is tip number two. Tip number three. The third tip that I'm going to let you guys in on is this. This sounds very simple and it sounds like, duh, you should know that, but you may not. If you have an image and it's saying this here, boom, you could not use the move tool because the layer is locked. You need to unlock a layer in order to do that. You can do it a number of ways, but the easiest way of doing it is if it's a background layer is going over here to the layers panel, double clicking on that layer, giving it a name if you so want to, and then clicking OK, and boom, that layer is now unlocked. We can move this layer around. We can now do the Command or Control T. We can transform it just like I showed you guys how to do earlier. We can do all sorts of things once that layer is unlocked. So that's how you unlock a layer. Number four. The fourth tip I'm going to show you is something that everybody wants to do in Adobe Photoshop. How do you remove the background? How do you remove a background from an image and just have the person or a logo? Whatever it may be, let me show you guys how to remove a background in Photoshop. So all you gotta do, there's, a, there's obviously more in-depth ways of doing it, but if you grab the magic wand tool here, there's a, other selection tools you can use, but if you grab the magic wand tool and then go here and select an area, whatever that area may be, and then you just delete it, that is how you remove the background. So this works with anything. This works with logos, this works with images, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna remove a certain part or area of a photograph, all you need to do is make sure that layer is unlocked, obviously. If the layer is locked, like I showed you in the last tip, you're not going to be able to do anything with it, but if it is locked, you'll just use the magic wand tool, click in that area that you want removed. Photoshop will automatically detect the areas you want to delete, and then once you do that, you hit the delete or backspace key on your keyboard and boom, that removes that area. Tip number five. This tip has saved me so much time and effort. So let's say you are zoomed in to your project and you are on a specific portion of your canvas on Photoshop, but hey, you want to move it to another side because your project is so large, but you're zoomed in. What do you do? 
while you have the zoom tool available to you, go ahead and hold down the H key on your keyboard. Move around with your mouse cursor and it's now going to give you a box. That is where it will zoom in on. So now you can look and have a bird's eye view of your entire canvas. And say I wanna zoom in on the left side here, I'll just let go and boom, I'm right where I wanna be. Again, hold down the H key and then move your cursor around and you can zoom in on any part of the image. That one is awesome. Anyways, guys, this has been five tips to get you started in Adobe Photoshop. Obviously, there is so much more to learn in Photoshop. Go ahead and check out my other tutorials in the Photoshop playlist that I will have linked down in the description box below. Please go ahead and like and thumbs up this video because it does help me out. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great content, technology reviews, and news, and whatever it may be, and I will see you guys next time.